Chance, it's been a minute. It's been it's been a minute, Chance. It's been a minute. Welcome to the channel. You feel me? It's JJ on play. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I probably I, I feel different. I look different. The last time y'all see me, I had my hair cut. I had my facial hair still growing, but I cut all that off. As a lot of y'all know, I was in the AMP Secret Santa video. Uh, <laughs> Crazy, crazy, crazy. I want to start this video off with five laws of stratospheric success before we get into any of that AMP stuff. Let's start off with the five laws of stratospheric success. So we have the law of value. Your true worth is determined by how much more you give in value than you take in payment. The law of compensation. Your income is determined by how many people you serve and how well you serve them. The law of influence. Your influence is determined by how abundantly you place other people's interests first. The law of authenticity. The most valuable gift you have to offer is yourself. The law of receptivity. The key to effective giving is to stay open to receiving. And AMP, each and every single member, pretty much every single affiliate that rock with AMP, I feel like goes by these laws. And those laws are in the book of the go-giver. So if I was you, go read the book. You can find the audio on YouTube for free. But too many people in this world wants to be a go-getter. They want to go and get things. It's kind of like a selfish mindset. But if you focus on being a go-giver, you'll focus on other people. And that's how you build authentic relationships. So the whole backstory on this AMP thing, right? They posted on Instagram. It was like, okay, we're going to do a secret Santa for our viewers and so-and-so. Submit a video through a link in our bio. I was like, okay, cool. That's good. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's an opportunity for people to win something. So I hit up a couple people. I was like, hey, yo, submit a video. I told this person, submit a video. I told this person, submit a video. Before I even thought about submitting a video myself, I was telling a bunch of other people, hey, submit a video, bro. You might be able to win something. And, you know, that's just me naturally as a person. I would pit a lot of people before me. Make sure you good before I'm good. That's just me. That's my character as a person. I just don't think twice about it. I'm not about to be like, oh, let me have less people fill it out, give myself a better chance. I'm like, hey, if we all can eat, let's all eat, right? So I was like, what do I need? I really need a car. <laughs> so in my head, I'm like, should I ask for a car? Nah, so I, was, I even I even went on Carvana and I was like, what is the cheapest car on Carvana? It was like 10 bands. I'm like, they're not about to give me no car. I had some friends and it was like, bro, they have enough money for a car. But I'm like, but am I gonna win a car? You know what I'm saying? Cause I want something. Even if I get nothing, I'm like, shoot, it's just whatever. So I came in with the mindset of like, hey, what do I need? And one of the most things I've been grinding on for the last month, literally, is my YouTube channel. We just hit 500 subs. You just go and clap it up for that. And that was my goal for the end of the year it was 500 so that was next year it's 10k so i went into the situation like okay what do i need and i'm like what is something that's going to help me build where i can grind and not just get like a little handout or something where i can receive but then i have to put a lot of work towards to build and i was like there's this camera that i know amp members use and just a lot of people in general use so i'm like what's that one camera name it was like sony something so i searched up the sony camera and i was like okay i want to get this camera i can't afford it it's something i want so after i told a couple of people to a submit a video then I submitted my video like last minute. I was like, my name is JJ. I want a Sony A6400 because you know, I'm grinding for YouTube. I just hit 500 subs and I just want to pin in work and be great and be my best self basically is what I said. And I submitted the video and I was just like, hey, if I win, I win, you know what I'm saying? At that point in time, when that video dropped, if y'all seen the video, I only had like two or three seconds of screen time, but I'm gonna get into that. So I, I submitted the video and I'm like, no, oh, they probably already picked the winners. You know, if I didn't win, oh well, hopefully somebody I know won. Or I'm saying some people's getting blessed and gonna be grateful. I get a text on my phone randomly. I just I just get a text out of nowhere. Recently, I've been getting a lot of phone calls and texts and I don't normally answer phone calls and texts, but for some reason, I've been answering a lot of phone calls and texts. I don't know why, but at this point in time, I got a text and it was like, hey, congratulations. You made it to the next round of the A&P Secret Santa. And I was like, Yo, I, I did, and I'm going crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm telling my bros, I'm like, yeah, hey, bro, I made it to the next round. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. That was like, we're going to do an interview this day at this time. Are you available? And I was like, yeah, 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 most definitely. Even though I was going, I was going to stay at work and put in some overtime, but I was like, oh yeah, most definitely, well, I'll come in. So for those who don't know, I have a lot of siblings. I have a lot of people that I got to take care of and stuff like that. So I work hard for everything that I do. I worked. 
20 days straight at my job. And no, I'm not looking for no sympathy. I'm not looking for no dang this, dang that. I'm not looking for all that. I'm just letting y'all know the backstory of the whole thing. So I worked 20 days straight, 4 a.m., seven, eight hours a day for 20 days straight. Weekends, no breaks at all. So I was exhausted and I was streaming. I'm telling you, I will go to work, slave, and then come home and still stream and post on YouTube. I wasn't posting videos because again, all the videos I wanted to do, I can't do. So I got to think of some other stuff, but clearly I could see my hand is messed up. I had a lot of basketball videos, weightlifting videos. I had a lot of stuff I wanted to do, messed up my hand. I've been out for over two months. The last video, one of the last videos I uploaded was um, my basketball 505 video. If y'all remember that one, go watch it if you haven't. My hand was messed up that whole time. You can hear people yelling, but his hand broke. It's not really broke, but that's besides the point. So I worked 20 days straight and I was exhausted. I'm putting in work on Twitch and I'm been on YouTube shorts. That's how I hit 500 subs. So I'm telling you like, I'm getting two hours of sleep a day tired, like an hour and a half, two hours of sleep, sometimes a little bit less than that. So I'm like, hey, the thing that keeps me going the most is what a lot of people ask me like, JJ, how do you do all this stuff? Like your schedule, this, this and that, how do you keep going? And I'm like, look, I look at myself and I see my potential, you know what I'm saying? That's what I do. I look how high my potential is and I see that and I'm like, I'm not there yet, push to get there, you know what I'm saying? So they hit me up, they was like, you made it to the next round. So we're gonna do an interview tomorrow from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. That's what they said, right? So I'm thinking, okay, cool, I'm gonna do that for sure. 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., I go to work and I'm there for about four or five hours and then I come home, it's like 9 a.m. I go to work at like 3, 4 a.m., depending on the day. But I get to work, come back home, it's like 9, 9, 30. And they was like, are you, still, are you gonna be able to get on the, the Discord call today? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, okay, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. And I text the person that texted me from AMP and I was like, is it gonna be 1 p.m. Pacific time or Eastern time, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Cause those are two different times. We're three hours apart. So 9.45, 9.55 comes around and I haven't got a message back saying if it's Pacific time, or Eastern time. Nobody ever goes off Pacific time. I don't know why, but I'm like, okay, that's whatever. So again, I only had like an hour of sleep because I was streaming last night. I was grinding and I was like, okay, cool. And I'm not getting no response. So I put my head down and I'm really about to go to sleep because again, I only had an hour of sleep and I just got off work, working 20 days straight weekends. And I get, I hear a vibration. I look at my phone. He was like Eastern time, 1 p.m. Eastern time. I'm like, Damn, 1 p.m. Easter time is 10 a.m. my time. So it's like 9.55, 9.58 or something like that, close to 10. I hop out of my bed, turn my PC on, and I'm getting ready. And I'm like, okay, it's 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. It's an interview. I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, okay, I gotta explain to them why I deserve a camera. I'm like, okay, that's cool, you know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting in a Discord call for two hours. I'm just vibing, I'm watching, uh, the next chapter on YouTube, Demonte Freaka and the Fragments. So I'm just watching that chilling and vibing. They finally put me on the call and they was like, okay, your interview is about to start in a couple minutes. I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm sitting there watching, I'm chilling, just vibing the music in my head. And then next thing you know, they turn their camera on and it's just AMP all sitting on the couch. I was like, yo, in my head, Again, I don't know when you got one hour to sleep. I'm mentally and physically drained. I don't know what's going on. I'm expecting it to be an interview with a random person about why I deserve it. And I see every A&P member sitting on the couch. I'm like, yo. And that's probably why I didn't get as much screen time as like every other individual. Cause like in my, I was like in awe basically, because I was not expecting to be on the call with every a &B member at that point in time. So, and I was like, yo, what you want for Christmas, my boy? They was like, what you want for Christmas, my boy? I was like, I want this a Sony A6400. Let me show y'all, I got it right here. I mean, I'm recording on it right now, but look, I got the A6400 right here. I got the guy, and then they was like, where you from, where you from? I was like, I'm from Oregon. And they was like, ah, and then Kai was like, you know, I was just asking about where my Oregon people at? And I look at him, I'm like, Nobody asked that question. I'm from Oregon. I've been living in Oregon my whole life. Nobody from out of state cares about Oregon. I'm like, well, why are you trying to lie to me, bro? I'm like, bro, you know damn well you were not thinking about Oregon. And then he said, bro, where's my mother? Where's my mother? I was, I was talking about Oregon. I was like, oh, okay, my. I was like, I believe you, bro, because you know, when Kai say word to my mother or people from New York, whatever, so a lot of times they tell the truth. So I'm like, I right, bet Kai's telling the truth. So I'm like, I believe you, bro. If you, if you think about Oregon people, you know what I'm saying? That's love. I appreciate that. And then after I told him I want the camera, and David says, that's a little expensive. And I'm like, damn. 
I'm like, I'm being too greedy. That, that's literally what thought in my head. This dude Davis literally said, he was like, that's a little too expensive, my boy. Sony, bro, because it's damn near a thousand dollars. I'm like, damn, I'm being, I'm, I was being selfish, but I should ask for it. You know, something else, whatever. So then he was like, nah, I'm just playing. We got you the camera. I'm like, for real? I'm like, that's love, bro. I appreciate y'all. So like in my head, I'm like, bro, I only got an hour of sleep. I'm tired. Y'all seen how I look? My camera quality's bad. I still have my facial hair. I didn't have my hair cut or anything like that, right? So I get off the call and I'm like, yo, this blessing is just like, it's like, it's crazy. It's like, I spend so much time putting other people first and making sure everybody else succeed that things are starting to look good. Like I'm getting gifts here. I'm getting appreciation here. I'm getting love here. My chat showing me love on Twitch. If you haven't followed my Twitch, link in the description. But I'm like, damn, everybody's showing me love. So I'm like, usually December time, everything starts to go downhill, car problems, family problems, whatever. But this year, for some reason, like, everything's starting to go good. So I'm like, yo, I call a couple of people. I'm like, bro, I just want a camera. I just want a camera. I just, I'm calling everybody. I I text Pete, I, I'm like, Pete, bro, you up? I ain't get no response. 45 seconds later, he's like, bro, I just woke up, bro, what do you want? I'm like, I called him. He was like, bro, give me a minute. I'm about to head to college. Or he's in college, but he's like, I'm about to head to class. And I'm like, bro, it's urgent. He was like, all right, bro. Hit him up, I was like, bro, I just want a camera, bro, from the AMP thing. He was like, bro, I don't believe that, bro. He was like, those I don't be I don't be trusting those stuff. I'm like, bro, I was literally on the call with all the members. So I'm going crazy. Me and Pete, I turned up on the FaceTime and I'm like, I'm like, I should have threw it back. And he was like, This nigga gay. I was like, okay, my fault, my fault. But anyways, I'm telling people like this, this and that. And I'm like, bro, I feel freaking good. Even at my job, my job gave me a free like smoker. So then, so I could do like competitions with like Pete where we smoke ribs or something. But I'm like, bro, everything just feels way better. And that's when I started to feel good. You know what I'm saying? So boom, the first thing I did after, you know, I'm, I'm on the phone with Pete. I'm like, bro, it's gonna be two minutes. Our phone call lasted like 30 minutes. But after that happened, I, I went to the bathroom. I'm looking myself in the mirror. I'm like, bro, you feel good. So then boom, cut my facial hair, you know what I'm saying? Cause again, I don't even like facial hair. I hate facial hair. It makes me look older than what I am. So boom, I cut the facial hair. I text up my uncle. I'm like, bro, I need a haircut. He was like, boom, I got you in a couple hours. I'm like, damn. So then I'm making last minute decisions. I go back to work, go to work for like an hour or two. My boss was like, hey, did you open that envelope you got this morning? I was like, yeah. I was like, no, I didn't open it. He was like, it might be a gift in there. And it was a bonus. So I'm like, bro, I just got a, a bonus from work. I just want to amp get a camera, man. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy, right? So then I'm, and I'm about to go get my haircut. Boom, I got my haircut, and I'm about to get my twist back in. I just got the camera. I'm like, yo. So then I'm like, I feel great. I hop on the stream. I'm getting subs. I'm getting bits. I'm getting love. I'm getting followers. I'm like, yo. I'm like, and I'm doing all this on like an hour of sleep. I'm like, that is crazy. I am literally had people text me. I'm like, bro, you was in the A&B video? You got to meet A&P, A&P putting you on? I'm like, yes, sir, yes, sir. I even had somebody hit me up at 6 a.m. That was like, I wasn't up yet. I woke up at seven, because I gotta go to work. But he hit me up at 6 a.m. He was like, JJ, what's your real name? Because again, I don't go by my real name in person unless you like family. I go by JJ, because it's easier to remember and pronounce. So he was like, JJ, what's your real name? I told him my real name. He was like, and then he sent me a screenshot of the video. He's like, bro, you was on the AMP video? I'm like, yes. I'm like, something told me that's what he was gonna say. But again, the experience is crazy. AMP, if you're watching this, if any member of AMP watching this, come to working. I gotta show y'all love. Y'all show me love with the camera. Like, let's make a video, basketball video, challenges, you know what I'm saying? Anything, you know what I'm saying? Y'all show me love. I gotta show y'all hospitality. So pull up to Oregon. That would be the next goal. You should, y'all gave me a camera. Pull up to Oregon. Y'all be y'all be asking what states to go to next. Pull up to Oregon. You know what I'm saying? Go to Nike headquarters. Go here, there. We got a thousand food carts. You know, the city weird, but shoot, we got a thousand food carts. But other than that, that was really the whole background and story on how and please bless me and i got onto the video for three seconds the call ended up being like 30 seconds like not even 30 seconds, maybe like two or three minutes but i was just in awe and even just thinking about it i'm just like that's crazy you know what i'm saying shout out to mp bro to you know what i'm saying a thousand until we get to ten thousand but that's our next goal we hit 500 by the end of the year appreciate y'all much love to y'all but i'm not Content going crazy. If I'm not posting videos, I'm live, pretty much live on Twitch every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty much live on Twitch. So make sure y'all follow. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo.
Don't you know that you are loved? It was potent, it was coated with the hug. 